All right, guys, I've gone back and forth a few times on how to start this video, but instead of doing anything weird or crazy, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, today, I want to talk about RCS messaging uh, and how it behaves between Android and iPhone. And we'll jump right into it. The first thing I want to do was talk about how um, the things that do work and they work well, maybe a thing that doesn't work quite as well or it has been fully implemented and the main issue between the two devices as far as RCS goes. So jumping right into the things that do work, let's go ahead and talk about this. Let's go ahead and bring that up. So let me see, is this the right number? No, that's not. So let me pull this one up. Okay. So I have pulled out my <laughs> work iPhone because I don't have a personal one. So I pulled out my work one to shoot this video with and just kind of show you those differences. So the first things first, the things that do work, media. You get really high quality photo photos. Uh, actually, I was able to confirm that it sends the full quality photo. I don't know what that size limit is. I need to look up the standard uh, RCS and what the limit is between the two. But it sends full quality videos. I mean, like, it looks really good. I mean... Why, why did this phone zoom in so much? <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, looks really good. So that's that. So switching over to video though. How do I get out of here on my iPhone? There we go. I'm used to those, uh, the actions on my Google phone where I could just swipe from the right side of the screen and go back. But anyway, moving forward, videos. No complaints here. It does send a higher quality video, but it is pixelated. Uh, not nearly as much as it used to be where it was just a pixelated mess, but it is pixelated a little bit. You can tell that it has been compressed, but not nearly as much. So I'm fine with that. It gets the, it gets the point across. Um, the other thing is you do get the typing indicators between the devices. Uh, let's see if it actually works. So, if you were just initiating uh, like a cold message, uh, just going from not talking to the person to uh, talking to them, it won't show the typing indicators. But let's say, let me just send this message. Goes through. <laughs> it, it changed all the gibberish to wedges. Okay. So now, now the conversation is live and it's going, you'll see the typing indicators. And it goes both ways. If I type here, you'll see it on the iPhone. If I type here, you'll see it on Android. So that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, cold conversation. I mean, not like you're just sending your messages waiting for somebody to text you. At least I hope not. So, but once you're in the messages and y'all have the conversation going, you'll see the type of indicators. So good stuff. That's the stuff that works. <laughs> it does as far as it goes. Um, the thing that doesn't work is you can see up here, I was testing it out. When I react to a photo on either side, it shows the heart over here, the little emoji that I used when I sent it from the Android, when I react to the photo on my Android and sent it over to my, it sent a message. It didn't react to the actual photo. So there's no heart on this photo, but it's a heart here. You can tell I react to it. Vice versa. When I reacted over here, you see the heart on the um, iPhone and it sent a message over here, loved an image it doesn't work and I don't get why I don't fully understand it um, but I, well I've gained an understanding as I've been researching this and I'm about to get into that now so transition into the meat of the video end to end encryption and RCS across Android to iPhone um, there have been warnings coming out from the FBI trying to push people to start using uh, apps that are end end to end encrypted like telegram or whatsapp whatsapp being the much much bigger more popular app um and to be honest i'm just going to be transparent as i possibly can be as americans this is first off this is an american issue um and i'll and and I'll just be straightforward with that. Americans still rely heavily on the native messaging apps on their phones. Uh, whether it's uh, Apple Messages, I think it's called Apple Messages, or Google Messages. Uh, they still rely heavily on the native apps. Now, I 
being the nerd that I am, and that makes me slightly an exception. I do still text from time to time, but I rely much more heavily on Telegram. I've convinced all my friends. I went through the extra effort of convincing all my friends to install Telegram so we can all use it together. You can send high quality photos and videos, um, and it's end to end encrypted. Uh, but the average consumer in the U.S. is not going to do this, and they're not going to go through the effort of trying to convince their friends to do this. <laughs> so, with that being said, um, yeah, so we have to address the issue at hand. So, while it's easy to point the finger at Apple and say, hey, you're dragging your feet on this, you need to fix it get in the encrypt, uh, encryption enabled because it's already going on the Android. It's in the encrypted. Uh, but coming back to that, it's not Apple's fault. They simply implemented the industry standard for RCS. And the industry standard is not end-to-end -end encrypted. Nor is uh, nor do you have the... Um, the re the emoji reactions to uh, to multimedia um in the industry standard that is something that google went over and beyond to do on their devices because they wanted to come up with a competitor for iMessage and i mean while in behind the scenes not behind the scenes but on social media sometimes it may have looked like they were just trying to to implement something to allow people to send higher quality media I I think that this was just Google's thing where they were just trying to come up with a competitor. So they went over and beyond. They implemented the emoji reaction because this stuff was not here immediately right out of the gate. Google went out of their way to add that to their devices where the, it would show an, uh, a, a reaction to the media that you responded to. Uh, it's also end-to-end -end encrypted across their uh, their app on different devices. So... This is something that Google went over and beyond to do. Apple, I mean, they did the bare minimal, and I'm not upset at that because this is not a priority for them. This iMessage is their priority, and that's in the end encrypted. And their 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 fan base is protected when they're messaging from iPhone to iPhone. And I understand that, but at the same time, um they are working behind the scenes with the uh I, I wanna say the head of Whoever came up with the industry standard to push it, the industry standard to be in the end encrypted, which is good. That that'll be good across the board for anybody that decides to implement RCS uh, in their messaging app. So, yeah, that's that's really the meat of this. Um, it's in in the end encrypted. While on the surface it may look like it's just Apple dragging their feet, it, it's that's not necessarily true. Um. Yeah, so it's not them dragging their feet. It's just the the industry standard is lacking, and that's where Google, the Apple's push to get the industry standard more secure. So I respect that, and I just want to make this video just to address that, and that's just my understanding of it. If if you guys have any more information or something that I may have missed or misspoke, feel free to drop a comment. I'm open to conversations in my comments. I love talking about these things. I love learning things. So feel free to drop a comment and um, add, add your piece or correct me if I misspoke on anything. I'm open to that. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Later.